Hi, this is Bill Mounts, and I wanted to give you a quick overview of how to use Flashworks. In other videos, I've talked about how to install it and also how to create the databases, and so this video will assume that you've done all of that. Let me just walk you through the basic use of Flashworks. I encourage you to put the application in your dock, makes it easy to start. And there's the professor. And what Flashworks is doing is that it's looking at your saved preferences and it's loading that database and it goes and gets the words that match that uh, default search setting. But let me show you quickly what that is. If you go under Flashworks and go to Save Preferences, this screen shows you what it's going to find. First of all, it's going to go to the database that you have here. That's what opens automatically. And then it also looks at what fonts you have set by default. But what it does, it looks at in this particular case, it says go get all the words where the difficulty is between five and one, which is everyone. But you know, maybe you want to work on words that you're really having trouble with. And so let's say it wants to automatically load words of a difficulty rating of four to five. You can select what uh, kind of words you want. And you can also select what chapters you want to search. So let's say you're at chapter 10 on the grammar. Well, you don't want to look at words higher than chapter 10. So let's set that to 10 to 1, for example. Now when you click OK, it finds 105 words that f matches those search preferences. Now understand, those are the search preferences that get loaded up automatically every time you start Flashworks. If you're in a particular session and you would like to change what words you're looking for, you just click on Session and you say, you know what? I want to work on words that are, have a difficulty rating of 2 to 4. And it goes, oh, it doesn't have any. Oh, that's right, this is a new database. And so uh, you're going to have to select from 5 down to 2. Now that's really important because the you may, on a session-by-session -session basis, want to look at different words than the save settings. But you still don't want to change what those save settings are. That's how you do that. Well, you can mix the words up and randomize them if you want. And then the next choice is, do you want to go auto or manual? If you go auto, then what happens is that it just goes the number of seconds that you set in preferences and flashes your way through them. And you can pause and you can resume. But let's say you want to do it manually. You can go back and click on Get. Uh, no, I don't want to save any changes. And it finds the words again. I like to mix words up, so I'm going to keep clicking on that, but this time I'm going to click Manual. Now you can go through and you can say Aeon. What does that mean? Well, you say, okay, does it mean if? Okay, well, let's click Next, and you go, oh, if or when. Well, let's say you go, you know, I remembered it as being if, not if, when, so I want to I want to continue to keep this with a high difficulty rating, but maybe let's say four. Go to the next word in this arche. You go, well, that means beginning. Go to the next, ah, uh, beginning ruler. Uh, I guess I didn't quite remember that. So I'm going to set that to a four. And next, Ionios, age. Oh, eternal. I really got that one wrong. I'm going to set that. I'm going to leave that at five because I got that wrong. Go to the next, and achlos, and you go, that means crowd. Well, what you can do, let's say, oh, I just say I got it wrong or I got it right. This is a very important feature in Flashworks. If you get a word right three times, Flashworks will automatically change the difficulty rating to one easier. So the five will go to four. If you get a word wrong three times, it increases the difficulty, let's say from four back up to five. This is the way for you to go through your database and to figure out what words you got right, what words you got wrong, which ones you need to practice more often than not. And like I've been showing you, you could always say, you know what, I know this word, just put it at two and don't worry about it, okay? I, I, don't, I don't want to see it again unless I search for words with this difficulty. Well, you go through into, go, yeah, I got that one right. Abraham, well, that's Abraham, that's easy. Yeah, I got that one right. Do you see the process? 
What the difficulty is, is it's a number. It's one, two, three, four, or five. And it's a way for you to segment your database into the really easy words, which would be one, and the very hard words, which would be five. What that means then is that when you do your searches, they're a little more intelligent. Let's go back to session. I'll show you what I mean. Click on session. It says, well, you've made changes to the database. Do you want them saved? Yes. So you say yes. But you know what? I want to work just with words that are set to a difficulty rating of four. Okay, These are the ones that I find somewhat difficult. And let's just work on them. Okay, In this case, there's two of them. First one is RK, beginning, ruler. Uh, you know what? I got that one right. Aeon is if or when. Oh, I got that one right again. So you need to really spend time setting the difficulties for every word that's in your database that you want to practice. But that's basically how you use uh, Flashworks. There's a lot of other things that you can do. One interesting one is session information, and it'll tell you how many words you're in your search and how long you've been working and stuff like that. But you can also print out uh, the words that you have currently selected. I um, won't do that, but if you wanted to get a printout of all those words, you could. So that's basically how you use Flashworks. If you want more help or you have questions, please use the Flashworks forum on Technia dot com